We told you first on 7, the FBI paid a visit to Rio Reba Sheriff Tommy Rodella's home this morning, and the feds have searched this man before. KOT Action 7 News reporter Lana Grimstad explains what we know about the investigation and who called the FBI saying the sheriff threatened his life. It has not been a good week for Rio Reba County Sheriff Tommy Rodella. Tuesday night, he lost his bid for re-election to an ex-deputy he fired. And then early Wednesday morning, FBI agents showed up at his home just south of Española. The feds won't explain what they were looking for, but the sheriff's spokesman told us this search is related to a recent case involving a man named Michael Tafoya. According to court records, Sheriff Rodella accuses Tafoya of driving recklessly, fleeing, and then trying to run him over. We spoke with Tafoya. His side of the story is very different. He says he called the FBI because Rodella chased him and pointed a gun in his face. Tafoya says he begged the sheriff not to kill him. He says a young man then dragged him out of the car, saying, don't you realize he's the sheriff? When Tafoya asked to see his badge, he says Rodella used it to slap him across the face. We've been trying to reach Sheriff Rodella all day. He sent us a text saying he's out taking care of a few things, but has not responded to our requests to talk with him. Reporting in Española, Alana Grimstad, KOAT Action 7 News. In August, the FBI searched the sheriff's office after accusations he was letting people off of traffic tickets in exchange for donations to his charitable scholarship fund. No one was ever arrested in that case, and federal officials will not say if the two searches are related. The sheriff is married to state rep Debbie Rodella. Today, federal agents cracked down.